one of the most iconic historical landmarks that's still standing along downtown Miami's skyline is the Freedom Tower. Originally opened during Miami's boom days in 1925 as the headquarters and printing facility for the Miami Daily News newspaper, the 17-story Spanish Renaissance Revival-style building became known as the Ellis Island of the South when it later served as the Cuban Assistance Center from 1962 through the early 70s. Hundreds of thousands of Cuban refugees passed through the Freedom Tower to receive assistance and resources as they started their new life in the U.S. Once the center was closed in 1974, the tower was then sold, and in 1979, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. After years of ownership changes and various stages of neglect, the Moss family purchased the building in 1997 and began restoration work on the tower. In 2005, following the purchase by the Terra Group, the Freedom Tower was donated to Miami-Dade College and now serves as a cultural center for the college and the location of its Museum of Art and Design. In 2008, the Freedom Tower was designated as a National Historic Landmark. In advance of its 100th birthday, the tower is undergoing more renovation to ensure that it continues to be an historic beacon in downtown Miami for generations to come. You can relive the history of the Freedom Tower via Miami-Dade College's archives, which contains films and videos featuring the Freedom Tower in its various iterations, as well as photographs and architectural drawings relating to the tower's renovation projects over the last two decades.